These are Harry and Meghan's thoughts on a second child. On March 31, 2020, Megxit finally came to fruition and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle officially bid adieu to their lives as senior royals. The couple's imminent departure loomed over the royal family for several months after Harry and Meghan announced their plans to step down via Instagram in January 2020. While, initially, it seemed like members of the royal family were having a difficult time coping with the couple's resignation, at the time of their departure, Meghan and Harry appeared to be in a better place with the royal family. That being said, it seemed like Meghan and Harry couldn't get out fast enough. Following the couple's farewell tour, Meghan and Harry truly started gearing up to live their best lives. While they were initially hiding out, er, living, in Canada, in March 2020, the couple, and baby Archie, of course, made the move to Los Angeles. Now that Meghan and Harry have managed to put some distance between themselves and the royal family, literally, it's safe to say that they're probably looking toward the next phase of their lives which apparently includes a new organization and a job at Disney. But does it include a little brother or sister for Archie? Here's what we know. Harry and Meghan aren't rushing into anything. No sooner had Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their engagement than the media started asking the couple when the world would get to welcome a new royal baby. During an interview with the BBC in November 2017, the same month the pair made their announcement, the newly engaged couple was asked whether they planned to start a family to which Harry replied, I think eventually, one step at a time, and we'll start a family in the near future. Less than two years after Harry made that promise, the couple announced the arrival of baby Archie in May 2019. According to a new S Weekly source, as of March 2020, Meghan and Harry are enjoying these precious early days with their little one. That being said, Archie could be getting a sibling in the near future. The source told the outlet that the couple will be trying in earnest pretty soon. However, for the time being, T.H. just want to get firmly settled into their new surroundings first and give Archie as much attention as they can. While Meghan and Harry are reportedly committed to giving Archie a brother or sister, the source noted that they don't want to put too much pressure on the situation. So there you have it. Meghan and Harry aren't done having kids like Kate Middleton and Prince William, but don't expect a royal baby announcement in the immediate future. So just how many future baby announcements can we expect from these two? How many kids do Meghan and Harry want? These days, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are giving all their attention to Archie, but, apparently, it won't be long before little Archie becomes a big brother. Additionally, it doesn't seem like his parents' attention will be spread too thin. In a 2019 interview with his good friend, conservationist Dr. Jane Goodall, that just so happened to appear in Meghan's guest-edited British Vogue September issue, Harry revealed just how many kids he and Meghan want, two, maximum. While big brother Prince William has three children, Harry wouldn't be the only royal who opted to stop at two. Harry's father, Prince Charles obviously has two kids. Additionally, Princess Anne, the Queen's only daughter, is mother to Peter Phillips and Tsar Tyndall, while Prince Andrew, one of Charles' brothers, is father to Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Considering the fact that Meghan and Harry are doing their own thing, their kids' lives will probably look a little different from the lives of their royal relatives. That being said, only time will tell what the future holds for the new generation of royal kids. Everything Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have said about having another baby. Baby number two just might be in the cards. Hello, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle fans. Today is the most wonderful day for you, because I come bearing exciting news concerning your favorite royal couple. Taylor Swift voice are you ready for it? Us Weekly reported that Meghan and Harry are allegedly hoping to have a second baby in the year of our Lord 2020. Yay, more babies. Their family is their number one priority, the source said after confirming. Naturally, expanding the fam aligns with that pretty well, but let's all agree to take this report with a huge grain of salt unless they confirm it themselves, okay? Before you start being weird and examining Meghan like a hawk, know that another source said that while they want to have another baby, Meghan definitely isn't pregnant yet. 
while we wait for more news, here is everything that she, Harry, and royal news outlets have said about a possible baby number two. Enjoy. Meghan and Harry made a surprise appearance at an Army Wives event to honor families of deployed servicemen and servicewomen. And of course, since Harry and Meghan are friendly and love to chat it up, they started asking the families some questions. Apparently, Harry was really keen to know how things are with second children, which is eyebrow raising, just saying. Having our baby so close in age to their baby, I think they were keen to chat, Susie Stringfellow, a mother at the event, told Forces Network. Harry was really quite interested in how things were with second children as well, because we both have older children. And we were trying to encourage him to have a second baby. This means baby number two could very well be the last of their children, but of course, we'll take that with a hefty grain of salt. In Meghan's guest edited issue of British Vogue, Harry sat down with primatologist Dr. Jane Goodall and talked about climate change. The topic of our rapidly changing environment got Harry talking about Archie and had him quantifying the amount of kids he wants to. What we need to remind everybody is, these are things that are happening now. We are already living in it, Harry said. We are the frog in the water and it's already been brought to the boil. Which is terrifying. Dr. Goodall replied, happening and happened. It is terrifying. Especially as you've just had a baby. I know, Harry replied with a laugh. It does make it different. I think, weirdly because of the people that I've met and the places I've been fortunate enough to go, I've always had a connection and a love for nature. I view it differently now, without question. But I've always wanted to try and ensure that, even before having a child and hoping to have children. Not too many. Dr. Goodall cut in. Two, maximum. Harry said, causing me, and everyone else on the internet, tbh, to spiral. Two. Kids. Max. Literally one, one, whole day after Meghan gave birth to Archie. People reported that she and Harry had already discussed wanting to have a second baby. They definitely want to, have another. Meghan has talked about having one more, their source revealed. At the time, Harry was completely over the moon about becoming a father and was, and still is, happy to start a family of his own. He's always enthusiastic with children, and now he will have his own little world that he has dreamed of for a long time, the source added. How sweet. One of Meghan's friends, a.k.a. A source, Lowell, told the Daily Mail that Meghan hinted at having a second baby with Harry during a recent convo. The friend said, she joked that he needs a pint-sized little buddy other than the dogs. Meghan lit up when she spoke about Archie. She said he is a bundle of energy and prefers playing over sleeping. So, uh, take that for what you will. Paul Burrell, Princess Diana's former assistant spilled out the tea to life and style about a future Sussex baby, along with an outline of all the reasons he thinks Meghan will get pregnant sooner rather than later. I think that Meghan will have a baby very soon, he said. A. The clock's ticking. B. She wants at least two children. And, C. Have you not noticed the way she knots everything in front of her belly and tries to hide her tummy? Okay, let's be real, some of what he said is kinda weird. But go off, I guess. Watch this space. It won't be long before you hear that Meghan is having another baby, Paul added. Oh, but that's not all from Paul, he thinks Prince William and Kate Middleton will also have another baby, number four. Comma at the same time as Meghan and Harry. Imagine the drama, given the never-ending saga that is the royal rift. That'd be four babies for Kate and William. It wouldn't surprise me if Kate and Meghan were pregnant at the same time next year, he said. On December 11, a NUS source fully refuted any and all claims that Meghan is currently pregnant. So everyone can chill out until the next inevitable and speculative report. Sadly, this is all we know for now, but be sure to check back here for any and all baby number two updates. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry planning a second child, why the rush? Times have been busy for simply Harry and American Princess Meghan Markle. From rocking out with aging musicians Bon Jovi to embarking on a royally one voice over career with Disney, it's fair to say the faux American royals have been busy. 
They also decided to take the risk of leaving Canada for COVID-19 hotspot, California. Meghan Markle holds her career and ability to make money to such a level that she happily embarked on a flight with her son Archie during a pandemic. Let that sink in for a second. The reason behind the rush to have another child, according to the report, just sums Meghan Markle up perfectly, in my opinion. The self-styled LA princess made this comment in 2015 to Hello magazine. Yeah. I can think of no better reason to have a daughter than to give her an expensive Cartier watch. Would it really surprise anyone if the desire for a second child is the publicity and media coverage that comes with being pregnant with a royal baby born on American soil? Honestly, what is wrong with these people? Is this how their minds work? A second child is just another grandchild that Prince Charles won't get to see. This kind of news must send Harry's grandparents and father into a bit of a mind spin. Talking about a second child when his family has hardly seen his son? Something we can be sure of is that baby Archie isn't short of visitors. The only condition to see him seems to be that you're not related to the father. Another Meghan Markle source offered this update on Archie. He's a strong baby and you can tell he's super smart. He can sit up without support and roll over, and he's almost crawling. He can't talk yet, but he's trying. The Markle Power Couple Insider also revealed that he loves to be entertained. And he isn't a needy baby, he'll happily go to Harry and Meghan's friends without kicking up a fuss. Let's hope that that Prince Charles and Queen Elizabeth have a subscription to the US gossip magazines that Meghan's friends leak their updates to. After all, it seems it's pretty much the only way for the royal family to keep track of Archie these days.